run enough miles, you're going to find out one thing occurs every so often, and that's the need to take a pit stop during the run. Uh, a lot of times there's not a service station handy or you're not running by a friend's house or a construction site that has a portable toilet out there. So what do you do? You know, back in the old days it was, you know, find some leaves and uh, that wasn't always the best. I remember one time one of my buddies, he used one of these nice big elephant ear plants. Oh, this is great. Look at these big leaves. He told me about this. He said evidently there's something in there, some enzyme that isn't good. And uh, anyway, he paid the price for about two hours afterwards. The easiest thing, get a plastic storage bag, put some toilet paper or tissues in it, and uh, tuck it into your pocket or uh, into your fuel belt or whatever else you take along. Uh, that was one of the greatest inventions ever, the plastic storage bag. You know, I put my uh, tissue paper in there. I remember one of my buddies years ago uh, couldn't figure out how I kept my toilet paper dry. This is maybe 20 years ago and I, I sweat a lot and, and he would just tuck it into his waistband with no bag and he's like, Gary, how do you keep your toilet paper dry? I said, I just put it in a plastic storage bag and it had never occurred to him. So this, this is one of the more simple things uh, of running, but when you're out there in the middle of nowhere, uh, you'll thank me. The plastic storage bag with tissue paper, take it with you on your longer runs.